What is up everyone? So today's video, it's gonna be kind of short, but I do want to discuss it because a lot of people ask me about it. So the topic is the CAN bus, uh, decoders, air cancelers, whatever you wanna call them. But on the Ram 1500, at least, well I guess it doesn't have to be the 1500, but uh, more specifically anything 2009 and up, or um, in my case is 2014. So a lot of the guys that are running the setup that I am running, which is the uh, Innovited 55 watt HIDs in low beam projectors and they're putting on also the Hakari um, LED decoders. So that combo has been working. I've been running it for hmm, probably almost a year now, but it's been working, but I will, do wanna go over some of the quirks with it. So it's still working on my truck on the 2014 Ram 1500 in the low beams, but I do wanna point out that hopefully you guys can see I have to most of the time run the switch manually if I try to leave it in the auto position um, it'll end up turning off and a lot of people are kind of experiencing the same thing so if you run them manually you know if you just turn them on and uh, run it manually for the most part you won't have any issues if you try to leave it on auto i don't think there's enough load there from those CAN bus decoders to uh, make it properly work and it'll end up um you know you'll be driving down the road and the headlights will turn off so um, i'm not the only one a lot of people have kind of experienced that and the solution is just to run uh, the switch manually of course that's not ideal but it is a solution and i've been running it that way for I want to say almost a year now, probably a good six to eight months. But what I'm going to be trying for you guys, I just haven't gotten around to ripping everything apart, is these JDM Astar decoders. So they've given me a set of these to test out for you guys. And for myself, they look uh, of a quality part. So they look a little nicer than the Hakari ones that we've been using. And I'm hoping this will be a solution for us. So I just want to update you guys and let you know that you're not alone. If you're, you know, also like me trying to find a CAN bus decoder, the ones that we have, the Hakari ones do work, but just be aware that you might have to run the headlight switch manually and the auto function might not um, work as you would hope. So I like to keep things as real as possible. So if anything doesn't work, I'll always let you guys know. Um, so that's where we're at with that stuff. It does work. It's way brighter. It's better than stock, but that one little quirk where you have to turn the switch on manually is um, one of the downfalls. So hopefully those decoders that I'm gonna try out for you guys and myself do work. And if they do work, um, I will notify you guys. I'll show you the install. It's not much of an install because it's just you know plug and play, but I'll show you those going in and I'll review them um, and hopefully they do work out for us. So just want to update you guys on that and I'll also update you guys on some of the other lighting products um, that we've been using on the truck and how they've been working out. But so far everything um, if you guys have followed along, most of the stuff that we've gotten situated, the stuff that I've kind of given my approval, I know there's a lot of trial and error stuff in the past, but the stuff that I did find to work um, is still working on the truck. So um, that's good. I know a lot of guys are running the bulb setups that I've kind of recommended in the past, and uh, I think it's pretty cool that you guys are actually following along and, and enjoying them as much as I am. But um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you're stopping in for the first time um, and turn on the bell notification. Also check out the other videos on the channel. We've covered a lot of grounds and we will continue to do so. But as always guys, thank you again. See you in the next video.